You ever look up and realize you're like 12 exits further than you thought and on a totally different parkway? Sometimes I think I'm gonna wake up and realize I'm still eight years old and the last 14 years have been my imagination. What a relief. My mom always told me, when you're trying to make a decision, follow your stomach, not your heart. And whatever path makes you less sick to your stomach is the right one. You were named after my mother's sisters. You know that, Sarah and Beth. Sarah was the mother of five beautiful boys. And Beth was an artist, just like you. They all died at Auschwitz. For some reason, I'm ruled by guilt. That's what makes me an activist. I feel responsible for the world around me. My parents think I'm dark in spirit, but noticing evil isn't so pessimistic if you think you can change things. I've never been that popular. And now that I'm grown up, I'm a feminist artist. And I'm even less popular. Another neato gadget for uh, middle-aged men to buy at the mall? Another biting protest for feminists who already agree with you? Someday the religious right will hate me. Someday there will be assassination attempts on my life, yes? What is that rocket gonna do for you? Well, some people think this crap is actually useful. Yeah, that's why I have a job. Lined up after school. So that thing like flies and lights up and stuff? Would it impress you if I gave you a demonstration and stuff? I don't know. Let me see it. The best ideas take you by surprise. Can I borrow this? Thanks. Well, what the hell did you do to my rocket? And the best revolutionaries challenge each other. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> My final college thesis was on progress and evolution. Then I graduated and moved back home with my family. Aren't you done yet rebelling against your parents? Are you crazy? You made this? Take this down or move out. If you're going to censor me as an artist, I might have to. Taking out a second mortgage to send you to some fancy design college? Is that how we censor you as an artist? Religion thrives at the cost of the female spirit and body. What would Sarah and Beth think? Can't you ever just let them rest in peace? You have no right to disgrace them like this. All right, all right. You know what the Talmud says? If I'm not for myself, who will be for me? I know, Dad. If Jews are not for ourselves, believe me, nobody will be for us. My mother was lucky to survive and make it to this country. Otherwise, none of us would be here. I'm from Brooklyn. I spent my childhood staring across the river at Manhattan, knowing that there were these great artists right there shaking things up, wishing I was right there with them. Now I'm back in Brooklyn. Only 30 minutes away by subway, the promised land has always been just beyond my reach. I'm really halfway across Brooklyn for a waitressing job. Are you crazy? Well, it's close to Manhattan. I'll be living there soon enough. If I could just save up. All right, Ma, half of it's gonna wind up in the trash. Starving children in America, you know. Smart, Alec. You're too smart to be serving people all day long. So are you. Waitressing, after four years of this fancy college, Ruth, get me a razor blade. I've got to scrape the college thing off my station wagon. Not a regular waiter, a cater waiter. They make really good money. Oh, I see. This really is a brilliant career move. I'll only have to work four nights a week, leaving my days free to paint in the leg. Don't you understand how important this is to me? Sweetheart, if you become an art teacher, you get to take the whole summer off to paint. Customers treat waitresses like crap, Sarah, but you're not gonna like it. You don't even like helping your mother in the kitchen. Ain't that the truth? I don't know why my mother is so surprised. She's been training me for this job my entire life. During the holidays, she turns my sisters and me into servants. 
What's wrong with being paid for it? Careful, Sarah Beth. Easy. Watch it! Okay. You don't have to yell. Maybe I should prepare for Passover all by myself. That's supposed to be a threat. Very funny. Sarah Beth, why don't you just do the silverware? I would think you would be better at this considering your new line of work. You know what? If you don't like waiters, maybe you shouldn't go to restaurants anymore. What kind of men are you going to meet in that environment, huh? Mom, my boyfriend is on his way over here. I mean a man that you would consider marrying. Ma, she just got out of school. Leave her alone. Yeah, why do you want to marry me off so bad anyways? You're not getting a dowry from me. I want to see you safe and settled and secure with somebody that cares about you. I'm not getting any younger, you know. I can't do this forever. Ma, we can take care of ourselves. We do take care of ourselves. Would it be so terrible to see a few Jewish grandchildren running around here? From any of you? Children, I want these dishes very well organized. Look at the way Becky's doing this. Wait. Perfect. Perfect, my darling. Perfect, little Becky. Eight days. We've got to put these dishes back. We've been doing this since you're a little girl. Do you ever feel like the Torah invents extra housework? Oh, please. I don't do half of what my mother used to do, and she didn't do half of what grandma used to do. You know what they say. Something is lost in, in every, every generation. generation. What do you think? The daddy's the only religious one? What am I? The some schlub that does all the housework? What? When do I ever forget? to separate milk from meat. When do I ever forget to keep God in my mind? Crack in the whip. <laughs> it keeps you very spiritual. What? Slave labor is <laughs> spiritual? Living your life according to your beliefs and not just running off at the mouth is. This is exactly why I'm against organized religion. Right. We're brainwashed and you're an original. I don't know one kid that hasn't graduated from university that doesn't want to do away with organized religion. Down with organized religion, down with capitalism, down with health insurance, until one day you get hit by a truck, God forbid. <laughs> and then, my darling Sarah Beth, then you will see that life is not so simple. Ma, why can't Dad help? Why can't Howie help? Where's he at, huh? Simon's coming over in enough time to help with the cleanup and the setup. We're equal partners, and we always will be. I bet the Pope would be proud. Oh, God. Ma? Be nice. You invited him. I'll be cordial. I'll really be cordial if you bring me a gorgeous medical student as brilliant as you, my sweetheart. Then I'll really be cordial, I promise. Mom, Becky, Raquel, this is Simon. Wow. Hi, Simon. How do you do? All right, nice to meet you, Mrs. Cohen. And you. These, uh, these are for you. Oh, my heavens. Thank you so much. I would see you, Simon. Can we get you something to drink? Uh, no, actually, I'm good. I, I came early so that I can help. So uh, what needs to be done? We are in the middle of changing the dishes and cleaning the cabinets. Oh, my God. I didn't realize it was so late. We're on top of it, Mom. Come on, I'll wash you dry. We'll get it done. Conjunctive. I see every car I have ever owned in the driveway. That must mean my girl's at home. Is there an almost doctor in the house? Why, you finally want to get that cough checked out? No, as soon as you check your smart mouth. Hi, Daddy. Fuck some mail. Daddy, uh, Simon Stanton, Simon Isaac Cohen. I thought his name was Christensen or something like that. Dad. Uh, I can't keep up. I'm sorry. I'm still waiting for, for Becky's husband and, 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 and Raquel's kids and the Messiah. So. I see the Messiah first. Listen, I'll take anything as long as it arrives before I die. Mom. In the words of Spinoza, the secret to life is that it stops. That's Kafka, Daddy. You know? You send your kids to school, and how do they thank you? They become wise apples and throw the knowledge back at you. And the more years they spend in school, the more they throw back in your face. How, how's this apartment search working out? Horrible. I can't even find a dumpy studio with a shared bathroom. Maybe Becky may be of help with this. My roommate just moved out on me. Maybe you can stay with me temporarily. Really? That would be awesome. I know you wanted to be downtown, but it's right by Columbia. It's a pretty fun area. Oh, I can pick up extra shifts at the restaurant. Great. It's a mitzvah. It's too bad that Howard isn't as motivated as Sarah Beth to work. Ma, he is working very hard. Working hard? Spending your money working hard. What? You don't even know what you're talking about. I don't? No. So why are you always broke? Where is your money? I mean, what are you kids going to do when you want to have a child? Ruthie, he's just having troubles. Right. Not a business. Ma, he's working with his brother every day, oh. every weekend. That brother, that brother's the worst thing that could happen to either of you. The farther you stay away from that brother, the better it Why is. Why are you so hard on him? Instinct. He tries so hard to get you to like him. Why do you think he's always walking around opening jars and squashing bugs for you? And you never make him feel welcome, ever. Hello? All right, Hello? Subject closed, subject closed. Hello, Howard. Hi, Francis. Hi, honey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Good yon tov, everyone. I brought some macaroons. Oh, it's lovely of you, Howard. Welcome, well, Howard. Thank you Welcome. very much. Thank you. If there's anything you need me to do, you let me know. Yes. Uh, any jars that need opened? Uh, not yet. Oh, Howard, have you met Simon? This is uh, Sarah Beth's uh, hey, boyfriend. Hey, uh, Howie. Her Catholic boyfriend. I'm sorry about her. I'm sorry about all of them. They are freaks. You know, they don't know how to behave in front of company. It's so embarrassing. When the Seder's over, we'll just come back up here okay, and Okay, stop. So you're really excited about New York? It's what you want forever. Yeah, I'm really excited. Manhattan. You know, sometimes I can't look at you without thinking about forever. Is that scary? It's kind of scary. I mean, it's all scary and exciting, you know? It's like being on a roller coaster and that feeling you get in your stomach right before the drop. Well, tonight each one pours another person's glass. Just to remind us that we are no longer slaves. Why? Because we have to treat each other with a sense of decency. And now for the kids. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Bore pri hagafen, Amen. Drink up, drink up. On this night, every Jew should imagine, should personalize, and personalize this intimately, what it would be to be freed from Egypt. I'm finally getting out of my parents' house. So, I move in April 1st. Smack in the middle of my sister's living room. <laughs> Welcome to New York, baby. My boyfriend is never gonna wanna visit me. He just got this new apartment over his uncle's garage. <sighs> Honey, you can't afford New York without a major sacrifice. Or a trust fund. Well, she said I could have the walk-in closet. So? I'm thinking of making that my bedroom. I mean, it's only six by four, but it fits a mattress, and at least it has a door. I haven't had a door since I moved to New York. You haven't? I live in a studio with six other dancers. <laughs> That's fucked up. Yeah, I'm one of them. Gina lives alone. <laughs> yeah, right. Not if you count the mice and the cockroaches. <laughs> Sweetie, you'll be fine. Imagine how you're gonna find room to unpack all this. I think this living room is big. For New York. And this apartment is considered a good deal. When I came to this country, we moved to the city because that's all we could afford. Mm. Who knew I was so glamorous and cosmopolitan before my time? Yeah, I think we've <sighs> seen this episode, Dad. You know, Simon, for what they could sell this apartment for? We could buy two houses in Long Island, three houses upstate, and five houses in Atlantic City. Yeah, and trade them all in for a hotel. <laughs> Good one, Christensen. Good one. Not bad for a goy. Stanton. Simon. Stanton. You're all right, kid. Sarabeth, believe me, I feel so good knowing he'd be looking out for you. I'll look out for me, Dad. Get yeah, it. I think we can take it from here. Oh, I get it. I get it. Like they say in the vaudeville. Here's your hat. What's your hurry? Simon, I remember the days when they used to fight over my time for piggyback rides. All right. Thanks, Daddy. All right. Well, He's in good health and most importantly, be safe. Take care of them, Simon, will you? Bye bye, princesses. Good night, Thanks, Dad. Dad. Thanks, Dad. I have six chapters to read for my 8 a.m. class, so I'm going to my room. Have fun studying. Night, you too. So, uh, now what? Well, we go to my luxurious new bedroom. This is nice. Finally, I'm right where I'm supposed to be. Now make something brilliant. So much to say and only eight million people to say it to. 
Paris had Impressionists, London had Romantics, and for better or worse, New York, the capital of attitude, has me. Well, honey, <clears throat> I guess I'm going to have to be the one to break it to you. Female anger, demands for equality, rebelling against men, all very early 90s. I'm afraid I won't be able to sell these. Okay. What about that one? Well, these are a little too optimistic. See, in the art world, remember, cynicism never goes out of style. You just have to keep up with what it's hip to be cynical about. Wow. What's this? Oh, just something I made. This is funny. <laughs> you should do more stuff like this. Fun stuff. You're really funny. What, you don't like when I question things with my art? That's right, you don't question anything. Relax. I was trying to give you a compliment. It's a bit of a drive from the train station, but it's nice up here, eh? Yeah. This is so perfect. Some weekends you can come to New York for culture and excitement. And other weekends, I can come here for hiking and biking and inspiration. Oh, man, are they serious? You got to pay a toll over here? Well, us rednecks need to pay for our roads somehow, too. Hey. I haven't even shown you the best part. Wait. Wait. Ready? Keep it closed. Keep it closed. All right, right there. Open them up. Check out all the shit I bought. I got a plant, a TV, a VCR, DVD player, stereo, and they're all hooked up to these speakers Where? that go here oh. and here. And the best thing is that I got it all on my first two paychecks. How are you going to pay your rent? No, my rent's cheap, baby. Yeah. The way that the whole work thing goes is that I get paid next week and the week after that and the week after that and the week after that. It just keeps going. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. So now we can watch movies and we never have to leave. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All the waiters here are struggling artists. And every one of us thinks that we're the one that's gonna make it. And every restaurant in New York is the same way. The most creative people serve drinks to the most boring ones. But it's okay, we're all in it together. Oh, sour, Beth, how do you have so much laundry? <laughs> Don't you feel like this takes you away from composing? I'm saying, it'd be nice to have a maid, but, uh... Yeah, it'd be nice to have a social life, too. You know, it's frustrating, but I'm of the belief that when you're an artist, part of you is creating every minute. Like, for example, listen to the sound the wheels are making on the sidewalk. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you're never selling this song. <laughs> One day, one day, we won't have to do this anymore. Hey. Hey. <sighs> what is that? Dinner for mom? Why? She sends it every week. She sends mashed potatoes and turkey. <sighs> Kid in medical school gets everything. She would have sent you meals in your dorm, but you always said no. I thought everyone said no. Not everyone is as dumb as you.
I know. I'm trying to paint something patriotic, but I can't do that without being sarcastic. <laughs> it's not funny. Simon's mom is having this big 4th of July party, and I can't show up empty-handed. Well, why don't you just take a bottle of wine? Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> Well, hello. Is this the famous little lady from New York City? Dad, this is Sarah Beth. Hi, nice to meet you. Bill Stanton and Mom. Hey, Mom. Oh. <laughs> Maddie Stanton. Hi. Nice to meet you. Oh, how fancy. Wine at a barbecue. <laughs> Thank you. Mm, New York City style. And my sister, Stacy. Oh, hi. Sarah nice Beth. to meet you. And her boyfriend, Tony. Hi. Happy Independence hey, Day. Nice it's my favorite <laughs> holiday. Um, and I have some amazing news. Tony just proposed to me. We're getting married. <laughs> She's the luckiest girl in the world. You better treat my little girl well, you big <laughs> fuck off. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> It's really cool to finally meet you, Sarah Beth. You know, we could be sister-in-laws someday. Yeah, and then you'd be the luckiest girl in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Fourth of July! Why do we celebrate July Fourth, Daddy? Because it's silly patriotism. That's why it leads to fascism. When we Jews hear loud explosions like this, we always think the big government is out to get us. We do. Sounds a bit paranoid. Why did you learn that word? Woody Allen says it's not paranoia if everyone's out to catch you. Well, now that my girlfriend lives in New York, I can get my fireworks from Chinatown. Oh, those chinks know how to blow stuff up. Oh, yeah, it's not funny now that they've been stealing all the military secrets and shit over there. Tony Tinkins. Like the fucking war machine, Jew Israel. Yo, shut the fuck up. Yeah, fucking Jews always fucking us. What? Up. Shut the fuck That's up. That's enough. That's, true. That's enough. No fighting on our nation's birthday. Baby, you didn't mean anything by it. Not directly. I thought we didn't have religion. I don't understand why you're getting so upset. He insulted my family. He insulted my ancestors. Simon, this guy's marrying your sister. He's a good guy. He just got a little wasted. You know, the thing is, is that if I wasn't there, I don't think anyone would have been mad at him. It's like, it's never uncool to knock down a Jew unless another Jew is there. Sarah Beth, your family is way more prejudiced than mine. Why do mom and dad have to call Simon a guy every time they see him? They're just calling him mainstream. Like, they're calling him the man. They have a watch your backs attitude about the man. You're so hip hop. Mom's just trying to protect you. It's like she doesn't even realize that she's oppressed. Oh, come on, Sarah Beth. Don't you remember the story she's always telling about grandma in the haystack? Don't you think we dwell on that a little too much? Just because something's older than you doesn't mean it's out of date. Your great-grandmother, Ava, she survived these pogroms, and God knows she would want you to know about them. There were these mean soldiers called the Cossacks, and they would come on horseback, and they would attack the Jews. And the so-called police, you know what they would do? Sometimes, here, I'll help you. Sometimes they would side with the attackers. Sometimes they even were the attackers. And your grandma, Ada, guess how old she was? 15 years old. And her father was so afraid that these bad men would hurt her that when he would hear them coming, he would hide her away in the haystack. And she would wait there until they left. Grandpa was very, very terrified that they would rape her. And one day, the Cossacks came galloping, holding these sticks of fire, and they set fire to all these homes with families in them. And Ada was buried in her haystack, suffocating, afraid, scared to death. She could even smell the smoke. 
afraid to come out, but afraid to stay put. What if this hay catches on fire? I'll burn to death. God forbid. God forbid, God forbid. For a sweet year, Azisa Yor, may God inscribe us all in the book of life. God bless my beautiful children. Amen. Shana Tova Vemetuka. Shana Tova Tekuteva. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Christensen. Glad you could join us. Happy New Year. Time to come clean. What? Have you been hiding some brilliant millionaire Jewish doctor uh, or a medical student? I'll settle for a medical student. Um, Speaking of coming clean, I have been keeping a really big secret from all of you, waiting for the right time to tell you, which I think is now I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> you did it, Howie. You did it. Hey, boy. What? 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 I knew. I, was <laughs> I didn't know you. Oh, silly ghost. I didn't know. I can't believe you kept that from me. <laughs> I want this baby to be completely surrounded by love, so you all better be ready to play. Sweetheart, <laughs> nothing unifies a family more than a baby. Mazel tov, mazel tov, both of you. I mean, this is news, real news. <laughs> news to make the great grandparents smile in heaven. I cannot <laughs> wait to be an aunt. I'm gonna be the coolest in. <laughs> Out for a long time. Just seven weeks, so keep it quiet, okay? Um, early. Oh keep God, it quiet, Mom. Don't go tell the whole neighborhood. I'm yeah, right, Mom. Keep it quiet. Hey, you. Mind your manners. Wait, wait, I'm on the okay, brink of something. Everybody, I, I, have have some, I have some. I have something to tell everyone too. Oh, we gotta go. That's all right. I'm gonna say the Happiest day of my life. I'm a lesbian! I like women! <laughs> Rebecca, there are other ways to get our attention. Next time you want to say something, just say, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. I'm trying to tell you... I'm a lesbian. What? Why do you always have to stare my thunder? Oh, honey. Really? Raquel. Are you jealous? Are you, are you jealous of your sister because you can't find a boyfriend? I'm not jealous. Mom, I'm happy for Raquel. I don't want a boyfriend. I'm a lesbian. I want a girlfriend. It's out. I'm out. Becca, what have we ever done to you to deserve this kind of talk? Every kid needs a flighty, neurotic lesbian aunt. Oh, <laughs> Such a crazy lesbian out Becky, honey. I didn't mean to shock you, but I've been keeping this a secret for so long. And you suddenly think it's no longer something to be ashamed of? You're saying it's better to hide? Like great grandma who hid in the haystack? If she comes out, she might be hurt, but if she stays in, she might be burned to death. Don't you dare. Why did you have to ruin the best day of our lives? How can you do this to Raquel? We should be celebrating. It would be nice. Isaac, Isaac, please. I, I understand. Rebecca, you're, you're our perfect child, our beautiful, perfect child, but you're under a lot of pressure now. We, we know that. I mean, here it is. You, you, your sister is pregnant, and you feel absolutely terrible that it's not you. But Ma! You should know that you can come to your father and me about anything. Safe here. It's, 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 it's safe. We know about Columbia Medical School. It's absolutely impossible. <laughs> Look, you know, you know what? We give you permission. You can get a B once in a while. Get a B. Get a B. Anytime you want. Isaac, we put too much pressure on this child. You put a little you pressure on You have put too much pressure on I accept you them for always. No, you, I not me. I, I love no, them for who they are. Gay? I, I... I, um, I have the most wonderful idea. I want you to take a vacation over spring break. You've never done that before. We'll pay for it. You can take Sarah Beth with you, and you'll get away from all this pressure. Honey, you're trying to do too much. I understand. You're cracking. You're cracking. I'm fine. I'm a lesbian, and I've been fine with that for a long time must be very, very difficult to live up to all the nice things I say about you. Rebecca, it's the high holidays. It's time to resolve differences, not create them. This difference has been unresolved my whole life. 
Dad, if, if I'm not for myself, who will be for me? <laughs> Helen. You can get a B. No problem. Get Mom, a B. Why <laughs> won't you listen? You know what? Let's go. No, no baby, wait, don't. Wait, don't, 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 don't. Please, please. It's, it's don't, go. don't go, my darling. It's Yontif. I, I made this you know Sarah Beth. I would stay, but you people, you make me sick. Please, please. Oh, don't, don't leave. Yeah, go, go, go. Get out. You think I want to see any of you? Get out. Just drive carefully. I can't stand them. We were raised by oppressors, but all they can talk about is how they were oppressed. Fuck them. I am so proud of you. You still think I never questioned anything? I'm a jerk. I didn't know you like I thought I did. I'm a little more interesting to you now. I want to support you. Okay, anything you want from me, you let me know. with me this Yom Kippur? What? After all this bullshit, you still want to go? Of course. You know, I have a better idea. Let's get that trip out of Ma. We could go to Club Med. I can introduce you to some women. That would totally fucking show them. Can't you understand that I just want to be with family on the High Holy Days? You're my only family now. You're killing me, Becky. You know I hate it with every fiber of my being. My synagogue in New York is really different than mom and dad's. The rabbi is super cool and super progressive. It's super beautiful, too. But Mom's rabbi never connected it to activism. Why do you think they're involved in that coat drive every year? Becky, why do you have to defend them when they're being such jerks to you? There she is. Wow, isn't she beautiful? Let's go say hello. I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. You look awesome. What kind of moves have you made so far? Well, I go to her services every Friday and Saturday morning, and I go to her discussion groups every Tuesday night. That's it? I always make really good points. Okay. Don't you think it's time to step it up a bit? Oh, no. See that girl standing next to her? That's Naomi. She goes to all the same stuff I do. Plus, she's always dressed to kill. She's always wearing jewelry and full-on makeup. She always has her hair done. She's always wearing mini skirts. I might be completely new at this, but that doesn't really strike me as a way to get a lesbian rap. <sighs> Yeah, you are new at this. Good young tough Becky Cohen. What are you doing? I have a question for the rabbi. What are you doing? I have a question for the rabbi, too. Good young tough Becky. Good young tough rabbi. Good young tough Naomi. Good rabbi. Rabbi, this is my sister, Sarah Beth. It's her first time here. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you. I really enjoyed what you said. I, uh, we, um, my sister and I, we had a question. We were wondering if, if you could have a discussion on interfaith dating. As a matter of fact, yes. I have one planned for November, so keep your Tuesday nights free. Thank you, Rabbi. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Did you have a question, Naomi? No. Actually, I was just wondering the same thing Becky was. Well then, I will see you ladies soon. Have a meaningful fast. Becky, are you going to discussion group on Tuesday? Maybe. You want to get a cup of coffee after? Why? To discuss interfaith dating? God, 
You are so intense. I love that. No, actually, to, uh, to discuss anything. Becky. Oh. Oh, um, okay. Sure, why not? All right, Becky Cohen. It's a date. Can't wait. What if that is a ploy to lure me away from Rabbi Glickstein so she can make her move? Do you like her? I don't know. I mean, I mean, she's not Rabbi Glickstein, but she is cute. Kind of intelligent. Really intelligent, actually. But she called me intense, and I'm not sure if that's a compliment. Becca Luck. Yes, I'm getting enough sleep. Ma, will you stop thinking of new things to worry about? <laughs> and, uh, how's Becky? She's happy. And gay. That's not funny, Sarah Beth. Becky's going through a very difficult time. True. Coming out to your parents is very difficult. Sweetheart, why don't you take your sister out at night, you know, introduce her to some of your friends. Be the wonderful sister that you are. Sure. I could do that. I know some bull dykes. She eating? You know what? She'll be home in 10 minutes. Why don't you ask her yourself? Is she sleeping or is she trying to pull those all-nighters? Why don't you ask her yourself? How late is she staying at the library? Why don't you ask her yourself? Why don't you give me a straight answer, damn it, or you'll live to regret it? When she stays out past 12, she takes a cab. You feel better? No. I may never feel better, as a matter of fact. This religion is more than 5,000 years old. But frankly, it still has a lot of growing up to do. Sarah, Beth, pay attention. And my mother. She's not so young either. When is she going to wake up? One minute she says she's suffering. The next minute she wants her daughters to be just like her. Great. Where do I sign? Nobody notices the great mothers and wives of the Torah. What is the point of being chosen when you don't have any choices? Why won't you look at me? Well, maybe I feel a little bit rejected. Sometimes I have other things on my mind. Sometimes? Yeah, sometimes. You know, we only get to see each other like every other weekend, so if we don't have sex now, then we go like a whole two weeks without it. Is that why you come here? No! Stop treating me like a blow up doll. Oh, back again, are we? I took your advice to be less optimistic. <clears throat> Yes, I see that. You should also try to be a bit less literal.
I need to remember to relax more. Like this. Maybe you don't feel relaxed. What's wrong? I want to see you more. I want to see my friends more. I want to watch more great movies, and somehow I always want to paint more. And you want to work out more and sleep more and read more. Is there anything you want to do less? Yeah. Wait tables. <laughs> I think you should move in with me. Here? Yeah, here. I mean, I make enough money now that you could only have to work part-time. You can use the, the loft room as your painting room. I mean, as of now, you only get, like, every other weekend off. We never get to see each other. And we're ready, Sarah Beth. We're in love. Professor Willow, this is Sarah Beth Cohen. I'm living in New York now, doing the whole bringing my slides to galleries thing. Anyways, I was just wondering, you said we should call you when we're ready to go professional, because you have a lot of contacts. I would love to talk to you anytime about that. I'm living here now. I'm loving it. Um, I, I guess I'll try you again later. Thanks. Monica can make the hat, and Marie can give her the presents. I always make the hat. Oh my gosh, I can't believe all these presents are for me. Well, you deserve it, honey. Thank you, guys. <gasps> Wonderful. Yeah, that's the fastest blender on the market. Really? People underestimate the importance of a blender. Oh. <laughs> you can get the dinner on the table in minutes. Oh, thanks to you guys. <laughs> it's so pretty, I hate to ruin the paper. Oh my gosh, Mom! Now I don't have to worry about you two going through life with unprocessed food. <laughs> I registered for two of those. Really? Yeah. Oh, this is adorable. Great. Look at these. Oh. Terrific. Yep. You can never have too many wooden spoons, right? <laughs> Did I just say that? So nice. I use this wooden spoon every single day. They come in handy. They this wasn't them. on the registry. Oh, well, let's see. Oh my gosh, this one's from Sarah Beth. There you go. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You remembered. This is my dream house. Oh. It's exactly like I described it to you. This is the greatest present anyone could ever give me. Tony and I are going to put it on the mantelpiece and look at it every time we forget what we're working so hard for. And dream about having children in a place like this. Oh, Sarah Beth, I love it! <laughs> Come here, I want to give you a hug. Come on. <laughs> Come here. Get over here. <laughs> And now 
it's time to put Stacy's crazy hat on. Oh, no! You don't actually expect me to wear that thing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, no! <laughs> you don't know how you're going to feel until you're actually wearing one of these things. <laughs> oh, my gosh, it's so <laughs> Don't freak out. You know how important this is to me. Remember, he's making an effort. Well, you ask who it is? Then Hi. Back to Hi. Hi. Oh. oh, it feels so good to be social. You know, this is like the first time in a week I haven't thrown up. <laughs> Special delivery from your mother. Well, where is she? Here, in spirit. Ah, the place is filled with canvases, my little Leonardo da Vinci. I was wrong, I admit it. The waitressing agrees with you. Uh, well, you weren't completely wrong. I do hate it. Better hate your job at your age than at mine. How is school, Doc? Well, I'm finally getting used to looking at cadavers. Rabbi Mendelssohn asks about you all the time. Remembers how smart you are, fighting with him a lot, making him think more than anybody else. Valedictorian of your Hebrew school. You should go pay him a visit. Sure. Raquel made some cookies. Good practice for motherhood. I don't want to eat them all by myself. I'm getting fat enough as it is. <laughs> so come on. <laughs> Here, they're still warm. Tell them about Howie. Things are finally looking up. And just in time. I don't want to say anything too prematurely, but looks like he and Steve sold almost all the properties they invested in. <laughs> Isn't that great? He's so happy. He's been singing Van Halen songs in the shower. <laughs> Van Halen? It's what we like to listen to in high school. Thank you. Okay. That's wonderful, Raquel. You know, I'm always rooting for Howie. I'm waiting for him to sort of prove himself to the world. <laughs> He's gonna be a great dad. And if he makes enough money, Raquel may be even able to stay at home with the baby. That's great. Mm -hmm. Wow. Great. Great life. Our Beth. You love to teach. And I would love to spend time with my baby even more. Why do you always have to make everything the Russian Revolution? No, it's just, you know, I wish I was the lesbian so I didn't have to buy in all the expectations. Baby, when did you get to be so nasty, huh? When was your life ever so hard? God, you used to be like the sweetest child anybody ever knew. What happened? I'm sorry, Raquel. I'm happy for you guys. And Daddy, I think it's great that you came here. I'm glad I came here too, baby. Becky. You were always so religious. I live a modern, spiritual Jewish life. That means you pick and choose which laws to, to break. Remember what Teddy says in Fiddler on the Roof. What happens to a beautiful fabric when you pull out even a tiny thread? A fabric can bend to fit the person who chooses to wear it. But Teddy also says if you bend me too much, I will break. You don't follow every rule either. You're right. Well, in the words of Hannibal the Cannibal, let's forget what's eating us, and let's eat. That's lovely, Dad. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Growing up doesn't have to mean giving up. All the waiters I work with have been pursuing their art careers for five to 10 years. Just leave your postcards here, sweetie. We'll get back to you. You will heal from us just as soon as the curators have a chance to see your work. I'm not sure if anybody gets Gina's music or 
cares that Charlotte can do a split in the air? But we all keep trying, no matter what anybody tells us. You ever hear the sound of eight million people not clapping? The world's just not ready for you, kiddo. Maybe I'm not ready for the world. Don't sweat the small stuff. Don't call it small. You know, I remember when you wanted it badly, too. So, what are you going to wish for? I'm not sure. Well, maybe that's because you have everything you need. I don't know. Sometimes I think me and the real me have been out of touch for years. Neither seems to want to call first. Maybe you should make the first move. I should make a wish that I can make happen myself. Stop relying on these stupid candles. All right, honey, I got two minutes. What is it? I know you're really busy. Um, uh, you know how this place is never really booked on Monday nights? Mm -hmm. I was wondering if maybe I could have um, a showing of my artwork here. You know, you're like the worst waitress that we have here. Uh, well, no, I, uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm always on the verge of firing you, but you know, I just can't bring myself to do it. How about I give you $500? And you give me five Saturday nights in addition to your regular shifts. A lot of deal. Deal. Thank you. Well, all right. Matisse said creativity takes courage. Here's my heart, soul, and belief system on a canvas. Go ahead and judge me. Aren't you happy to see me? Yeah, I'm just tired. After work, I had to make the half an hour trip to the train station to pick you up. Oh. Well, that's tough. Well, I just spent three hours with motion sickness on that broken down local train to nowhere, and then 10 minutes freezing my ass off, waiting for you. I'm sorry. So, Tom said yes about the show, February 4th. So what exactly does that mean? Well, we'll invite everyone I know, plus everyone you know. We can invite um, art press, some professors from school. We can invite... The ones that aren't calling you back? Well, this will just give them a reason to call me back. He's only charging me $500. Only $500? And you have to pay for your own food, right? 
How the hell are you gonna pull this off? Hey, I'm still young. I can max out my credit cards without ruining my entire life. What's wrong? I just realized I'm too old to become a child prodigy. Well, you've got a lot of years to become a Grandma Moses. Swell. <laughs> Why do I think everyone should listen to me? And when you answer that, then you'll create something wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you always sound like a fortune cookie? <laughs> 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 I remember my first cynical thought. I was eight. My dad told me that even though Moses busted his ass and brought the Jews out of Egypt, he never made it to the promised land. Excuse me, but what part of promised land didn't God understand? It seems like when you stand up for your beliefs, you're usually alone. Where do you want to go to eat? Eat hey, this for your show? <laughs> no. I think I'm just going to use the photo. I can't believe you took this off your wall. I'm sorry. It's OK. You were just being nice. No, baby, I mean, I'm sorry. About what? I'm sorry that I can't do this anymore. But, um. You're breaking up with me? Why are you doing this? Because of the of the show? Are you are you worried you're gonna get ignored because of the no, show? No, I've of... I've just I've done some thinking and I realized that I can't do this anymore. Because I, I won't move in with you? Because I can move in with you after the yeah, show. Yeah, but you've known that's what I wanted for months. Your career is just taking off. And there's no room in it for me. You might not be able to see that now, but I can. I want you to know that I love you, and I believe in you, and I always will. But not enough. I couldn't love you anymore. Can't you see that you've been my whole world? I could never be your whole world. The one thing that I want in my life is simplicity, and it's the one thing too difficult for you to give to me. You're scared. You're scared to have a different life than our fucking parents and your sister. Sarah Beth, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have like 10,000 letters where you promised you would never leave me. <laughs> and I promised you too, but I meant it. It's because you're relentless, not because it's right. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You don't even want to keep the rocket. You keep it. I gotta go. You have to work tonight like you do every Saturday night. I gotta go. I love you. Come on, sweetheart. Latkes! 
These were your favorite when you were a kid. Mom, it's getting late. Can we light the candles? Remember when Sarah Beth was seven and she made those Hanukkah ornaments to go on the school Christmas tree? <laughs> uh, you can't stop laughing, Sarah Beth. You know what they say about shows and comedy. It's in our blood. Like Mel Brooks says, make the big Aryan laugh and maybe he won't hit you on the head with a big stick. Listen. Now, when they come in, please pretend that you don't know anything. Happy Hanukkah! Hanukkah. Mr. Mayor. Is this for me? Happy Hanukkah. Howard? One, two, excellent. <laughs> I didn't tell him anything. Well, it's okay. We'll, we'll give him a chance to hear it uh, right out of the horse's mouth. <laughs> we finally sold all the properties. They made a really good profit. <sighs> then my brother took off. And... Took off with everything. He's a mess. I've, I've been trying to help him change his life. You put everything into that business. More than you know. So, we're gonna move in here. Yeah. <laughs> Temporarily. Thankfully. It's wonderful. I mean, really, we can spend time with our new grandchild, get to visit with you. It's perfect. Everybody's happy. Howie, that business, it meant so much to you. Sometimes it's important changes. Listen, what's really important, darling, is your health, your happiness, and the fact that this baby, whoa, is on the way. So eat, Mamala, eat. Mm. <laughs> they're good, they're fresh, they're hot. Maybe you can babysit for them, huh? I mean, if you decide to take next semester off. I'm not taking time off. I think it would do you good. Oh, that's right. I'm gay because I'm overworked. Whew, don't want to hear this. I know. That's why you only call to talk to Sarah Beth when you know I'm not home. Do you know what my mother would have done? What? My mother would have said cottage for you. Oh, that's wonderful. Do you know why? No, why? Because unlike you or me, she lived according to the Torah. And not just sometimes, but every day. Every minute of every day. Now, I don't claim to be the saint that she was, but these traditions, they enable us to survive, Becky. I know, I know. Something is lost in every generation. But to what degree? I never plan to condone this kind of behavior. There's a Yiddish folk saying, if you want to give God a good laugh, tell him your plans. Very funny. In the words of Spinoza, the secret to life is that it stops. That's Kafka, Daddy. Kafka. Okay, the truth is, your father's very sick. Not very sick, or a little sick. You know that he has trouble breathing, right? Well, it's not because of all of your antics or my antics. Well, what is it, then? An infection in the lungs. Are you surprised? After 35 years of having to work at that printing press? I'm lucky that I've breathed any air. Baruch Hashem. But you're going to be okay, right? The doctors, they can help you, right? Of course, babe. Of course. Daddy has to go for some more tests with the doctors. But you know Daddy, he is a strong man. And much stronger when I have my whole family around me. Well, yeah, you're going to be here for the baby, right? My plan is to be around for all your babies. But what did I just say about God and plans? The light's going down. Let's light the candles. And remember this as a joyous occasion. We have enough misery in our history. On Hanukkah, we remember great miracles. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kiddushanu B'Mitzvotah, V'Tzivanu Lehadlik Ner Shechanu. Sarah was sweet and liked to sing. She had the nickname Sparrow. But Beth, 
Beth was an artist, just like you. Always hard at work. She used to like to play with clay. She, she used to make clay children. She always seemed so happy, but the clay children always seemed so sad. The clay children were all destroyed, just like the real children. Stop! Shaking. Sorry. Are you nervous? I invited some gallery owners. Oh, they're gonna love it. I wish we could just stay home until they're all done looking. What? Baby, you are way too talented and gorgeous to shrink away from anyone. Hmm. Let's just put my hair up. <laughs> Always knew I'd be going to things like this with you. <laughs> Some kooky thoughts swimming through that head of yours, Sarah Beth. This is the kind of work you have to go home and think about. Congratulations. Great job. You should really be happy. Oh wow, I totally cannot believe how much work you have put out since college. I'm in shock. It's so talented. It's amazing. So what's your favorite one? Remember when you won that poster award? And it's only the beginning. Congratulations. Thanks. Tell me. Oh my God, so please, yeah, please tell us Yeah, I have. Trust me. You know what? I'm going to be right there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I hope you don't mind. I, I, I could not come here. I tried to stay. How are you? Good. I'm good. You, you look great. Baby, the show is incredible. I'm really proud of you. Thanks. My dad's really sick. I, I just saw him. He was uh, dragging your cousins around. He's gloating about you. He looked good. Your mother glared at me. She looks good, too. How's Pennsylvania? 
Pennsylvania. Good. Yeah. I bought a boat. A boat? Yeah, I'm running some, some dock space on the lake. You bought a boat? M maybe when it gets nice out, I'll take you for a ride. A boat. Hey, Sam. Hey. Thanks for coming. Um, wanna come say hi to Mom and Dad? All right. I gotta go. I still think about the law firm as your painting room. Baby, I haven't done anything to it. Sarah and Beth. Baruch Hashem. Baruch Hashem. Can you believe it? I'm speechless. It's even harder to believe. <laughs> oh, Howard. <laughs> Darling, when did you do all this? Mostly after Hanukkah. You never wanted to listen, but you always made Sarah, Beth, and my mother so proud in heaven. They would want you to work things out with Becky. Everything with Becky's fine. I mean, she has a few problems, and we're standing by her. This is what we need to get ourselves ready for. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, if you're lucky and Becky finds a nice Jewish girl. Maybe we should be happy there's a hoopah. You think? At least there's a hoopah. I'm ecstatic. Is that Simon Stanton you were talking to? What does he want? He came to see the show. Really? He should be so lucky to get your autograph. Mom? Dad? I want you to meet my nice Jewish girlfriend, Naomi. Hi. Hi, Naomi. Hi, Naomi. Naomi is getting her PhD in comparative religions. Her father is a dentist, and her mother is a teacher. She has everything you could possibly hope for in a life partner for me. Actually, she's missing something pretty crucial. It's just love. It's not really so strange. Naomi. Ironic, Naomi. In the book of Ruth, Ruth says to her mother-in-law, Naomi, whither thou goest, I shall go. Thy land shall be my land. And thy people, my people. Naomi. We, um, would you like to come to the Passover Seder? I would love to. My parents are in Florida. Well, <laughs> then it's settled. I'm not so sure it's settled. I may need more time. But meanwhile, you'll come, you'll eat. Now, where's the bathroom? Well, Ma, the progressive women's room is right over there, and I think you qualify. <laughs> do they have toilets, or do I have to straddle the urinal to prove my point? <laughs> <laughs> that was all so exciting. You were amazing. You sparkled in there. I'm sure if any gallery owners did show up, they would have loved you. We'll buy another painting. Yeah. Anybody got any money? <laughs> Sorry, honey. So many of your friends came. Yeah. I have a long way to go before I'm green. But it's all so worth it. It's so obvious. Daddy seemed okay, right? Honey, he's not going anywhere for a long time, so don't worry. You guys have both your cars here, right? Can I please borrow one? I'll bring it back in the morning. Where are you going? It's almost midnight. Well, do you, you need a ride? No, I just I just need to think. Sometimes I like to drive and, and think. You're upset about Daddy? I just have some decisions to make. About Simon. 
You're not gonna go back to him now. What about your painting? Look, it's late. Why don't you wait till the morning and then you'll make the right no, decision? No, I, I, I can't make any decisions right now. I just have to go. I just, I just have to get in the car and go. I have to get okay. out of here. Okay, okay. Just drive carefully. Whatever decision makes you less sick to your stomach is the right one. If I am not for myself, who will be for me? But if I am only for myself, what am I? And if not now, when? <laughs>